Hey busy bees, welcome back to day 27 of our 30 days of healthy eating and living series. Do you guys notice a difference? It's nighttime. I'm actually pre-filming this for the first time in the series uh, because I have to go to work tomorrow. I'm working on a special project for the big game, so here I am. I didn't want to have to skip day 27 or make kind of a lame one, so today I'm going to show you how to make a really healthy but easy snack. Okay, it's kind of healthy. It's better than eating a cupcake, but it's a strawberry whole wheat yogurt muffin. It's super good, it's moist, it's fruity, it's delicious. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys wanna see the rest of our 30 day series. There's only three left, but don't worry, I will be coming back with another series in February. This is not the end of Honeysuckle, it's just the end of this 30 days series. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos and we'll go ahead and get started by mixing our dry ingredients. I'll add one cup of all-purpose flour into my mixing bowl followed by one cup of whole wheat flour. If you guys just wanna use two cups of whole wheat flour, you can totally do that too. I thought I would mix the two. One teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda. The combination between the baking powder and the baking soda, once it mixes with our Greek yogurt later, is gonna make for a light and fluffy muffin. And then I have half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and finally a pinch of salt. And then mix, mix, mix. All right. Our dry ingredients are done. Now I'm gonna move on to our wet ingredients. Set this aside. Now for the wet ingredients, in another bowl, I'll add one cup of Greek yogurt. You guys might be asking, why does your Greek yogurt look so weird? You remember my H Mart haul where I found the two passion fruit yogurts? I actually haven't gotten around to eating them yet, so I thought, hey, let's use it in the muffin. It'll add extra flavor. Then I have a third of a cup of maple syrup. I cut down the amount of maple syrup because the passion fruit yogurt already has a lot of sugar. If you're using plain Greek yogurt, go ahead and increase the maple syrup to half a cup. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, one egg, and just gently mix it up real quick. Then I'll add a third cup of melted coconut oil and just mix it again. So I added the coconut oil in after I mixed the yogurt and the eggs because if I added it in together, then it would clump up. The coconut oil tends to kind of get cold as it hits cold things. So I just stirred everything else up so that it would become more liquidy like this. And now we're ready to combine the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Give it a gentle mix. And then I'll add in a heaping cup of chopped strawberries. All right, our batter is done. Now I just have to scoop it out into our cupcake pan and then we're ready to bake. Perfect 12. All right, let's pop this into the oven at 375 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes until it puffs up and is golden brown. Our muffins are done. Now I'm just gonna let them cool for about five minutes and then I'll show you guys how awesome they look inside. So look how beautiful this muffin is. You have strawberries on top, inside, all around. I'm gonna break it up to show you guys the steaming hot strawberry fresh baked muffin. And of course, I'll give it a try. Mm. 
So I have to be honest, I've made this with just plain Greek yogurt before and not with the passion fruit one. That was kind of a risky move on my part, but it totally worked out. You get a very subtle hint of the passion fruit and then the strawberries are just juicy, sweet, and the whole muffin is not too sweet at all. The texture from the whole wheat muffins or whole wheat flour is still very fluffy. Let me show you in this one. The only thing is it's not gonna stay as fresh as long as like all purpose flour would because whole wheat flour tends to be just a little more dense. I thoroughly enjoy this and I hope you guys did too. I totally wanna know if you guys like this whole nighttime setup. I know the lighting is a little bit more warm, but it's like you guys are in the kitchen with me. Anyways, tomorrow we're gonna be back for day 28 and it's gonna be another haul. Uh, comment below and let me know where you would like to see it from. I was thinking I would do more of the living part of the series, so I don't know, I'll come up with something fun for you guys, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!